Okay, so assume that we are considering the uh, position of an object moving in a straight line as a function of time where the position is given by the function f of t. And we are now interested in not finding the velocity of the object over some time interval, therefore the average velocity of the object, but instead finding the exact velocity of the object at a specific point in time, say t0. And this type of velocity is called the instantaneous velocity of the object. Well, we can start with finding the average velocity of the object around the point t0. So let's take a variable point in time, say t. Then we can find the familiar average velocity of the object over the time interval from t0 to t. So for this, of course, we need the change in position and the change in time. Well, we can find the corresponding y values for t0 and t. So of course, as y is f of t, at t0, y will be f of t0. And at the arbitrary point t, y is, of course, f of t. So the average velocity of the object on the time interval from t0 to t is given by, of course, the change in position versus the change in time. Change in position f of t minus f of t0. Divided by the change in time, t minus t0. But this is not what we wanted, right? This is the average velocity of the object over the time interval t0 to t. What we wanted was the instantaneous velocity of the object at the point t0. Well, how can we go from the average velocity of an object to its instantaneous velocity at some given point in time? Well, the idea is, what if we consider the average velocity over a shorter and shorter and shorter time interval around the point in time of interest. So what if we simply let t approach t0? So we take the limit of the average velocity as t approaches t0, and as we find the average velocity over a shorter and shorter and shorter time interval around t0, therefore as t approaches t0, then we will obtain the exact velocity of the object at t0, and that is what we call the instantaneous velocity of the object at t0. And we've already shown that the average velocity of the object on the time interval from t0 to t is the slope of this line. Well, can we view the instantaneous velocity as the slope of a line? And the answer is yes. As t approaches t0, our point gets closer and closer to the fixed point at t0. And so in the limit, what we get now is the slope of the tangent line to the position function at the point t0. So geometrically, the instantaneous velocity of an object moving in a linear fashion at a specific point in time t0 is the slope of the tangent line to the position function at the point t0. And if you want to evaluate the instantaneous velocity of an object at a given point in time t0, simply find this limit and you will obtain the instantaneous velocity of the object at the point t0.